Pumpkin man, yeah, you know, you know what I'm going for. All right, I think you get it. Enough, enough of this mask here. Oh! 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 Haven't you heard the legend of H Cutie Hollow? The headless hostman strikes again. Oh man! All right, I. I really shouldn't be allowed to have this much fun at work. How's this look? Huh? Ah, magic! How are you folks on this Saturday? Saturday, 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 Saturday nights for frights. Hope you found a fun party. Hope you're staying dry if you're in the middle of this nor'easter rolling through. And I hope you studied up for tonight's HQ, the live mobile game show, where you answer questions to win cash. I hope my hair is staying together. This is what happens when you, you put a mask on. And Anyway, I am your host with the ghost, Ichabod making it rain crane, Scott Rogowski, live from the Overlook Hotel. With over 300,000 HQDs creeping me company, including Bex and Paul, happy wedding. Sorry I had to leave early a couple hours ago. How to do this. Aiden Merritt, hello. Jack loves brownies. Jonathan's sister, Stephanie. Jamie Jam. Allie from Nashville. Matt from Woodstock. Joe from Kentucky. Cindy Hubert, or Hubert. Ron from South Carolina. Haley from Greenville. Nana Kumia, turning 76. And happy birthday, Ethan Berger. I also want to say, on behalf of everyone here at HQ, HQ, we send our condolences to the victims of the synagogue shooting in Pittsburgh. Can we just have one day where, where nothing absolutely horrific happens? Please, just one. Let's, let's try it tomorrow. Hmm? In the meantime, we got some quizness to attend to tonight. I promise we won't go 18 innings, but I do have 12 questions, ranging from easy to hard. Answer them all. You're going to walk away with a heavier wallet. Yeah, you'll be spitting our jack, ja splitting our jack-o'-lantern pot, which is an OMG 5G. Oh, what did you say, 5K? A whopping flopping $5,000. Think of all the peeled grape eyeballs and spaghetti intestines you can cook up with that cash. Spaghetti! Do you have an extra life ready for tonight? You can borrow one from your black cat or buy one right now. Yeah, you can do that. Or play five in a row to get an extra life or refer your friends with your code. But all your friends know about HQ already, right? Right? All right. My head is going to turn back into a pumpkin if I don't get this show on the road. So let's do it to it. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Here it is. On your hollow weekend Saturday night, Cumero, numero uno. In the Bible, David famously defeats what much larger opponent? Donkey Kong, Megatron, or Goliath? The Bible's where I get all my Halloween inspo. Great couples costume ideas there. Adam and Eve, Samson and Delilah, Cain and Abel, depending on what kind of costume couple you are. Me and my sweetheart are going as Sodom and Gomorrah. But last year we went as David and Goliath. Goliath, of course, the much larger opponent. 320,013 smote at this Q. You smote it good. And you're getting cute too. Which of these wines is usually fizzy? Champagne, Pinot Noir, or Zinfandel? Got some flyaways here. A little pumpkin grease. Take care of that. You don't have to be a wine aficionado to know this one. Just look around on New Year's Eve. No one's popping Pinot or Zin corks. A celebration requires the singular pressurized bang that only champagne or Prosecco or Cava can provide. 308,000 on the dot. How about that? Are the champagne of H cuties tonight? We're going to pop Q3 in a minute. But before we do, let me tell you about it tomorrow night, folks. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Disney, Disney, Disney. 
The Disney 100 makes its debut. Yeah, you loved our Disney night so much, we're doing it again. And this time, no more than 100 winners will be splitting the cash prize, which is $25,000. $25,000 going to 100 or fewer tomorrow at 9. So come on back. Maybe the Disney magic, the Quizney magic will be with you. Until then, let's get back to tonight's action. Q3, as the name suggests, which architectural style incorporates ancient Italian traditions? Romanesque, Tudor, or Greek revival? Learning the national capitals isn't only helpful for geography questions. A lot of world history and culture is wrapped up in these places, and none more than Italy's capital city, Roma, which gave us Romanesque style. Hey, Mambo! Mambo Italiano, 239,405 Goombas doing the Roomba to Q4. By law, which TV network does not broadcast commercial ads? GSN, HGTV, or PBS? Now, there are three ways you can support the struggling TV industry. You can pay your cable bill, which I, I don't do that. I don't have cable. You can sit through the commercials. Or if you're watching viewer-supported PBS, you can send a donation at the next pledge break to keep Pepsi from interrupting Downton Abbey. PBS Public Broadcasting Service. They're nonprofit, but 213 269 looking to profit tonight by winning HQ. You're getting Q5. Which book has the same author as Great Expectations? The Pickwick Papers, Wuthering Heights, or Moby Dick? Getting lit. Liddy at Q5. Cinco. I've mentioned four classic books here by three legendary authors Herman Melville. Wrote Mo well, Moby, yeah, he wrote Moby Dick. Moby Dick didn't write Herman Melville. No, whales can't write books. Emily Bronte, Wuthering Heights, Wuthering, Wuthering. And Charles Dickens, who wrote 15 novels, including Great Expectations and The Pickwick Papers. Yes, sirree, Bobby. Ooh, 76,048 are spinning their own Dickensian tale tonight, chasing that Pickwick paper to Q6, but we lost 130,000. Hit the books. Literally, study up. Come back tomorrow. Q6, what state's capital is named for an American Revolutionary War hero? Arkansas, Alabama, or Arizona? You gotta read more books. Those musty things gathering dust on your shelf. Heroes of this war are a long list, and I certainly don't expect you to have them all memorized, but since Arizona's capital is named for a mythical bird, it's not Tucson, it's Phoenix, and Arkansas's capital is named for a rock, albeit a little one, that leaves only Montgomery, Alabama, as the answer. Richard Montgomery, a major general in the Continental Army, 50,357, make me an angel, flies from Montgomery. Yeah, you're going to Q7. What was the 1983 sequel to Saturday Night Fever called? This one from Staying Alive or One More Saturday Night. Past the halfway point here on this Saturday night. Saturday night's all right for quizzing. Go Inferno was a smash song featured in the original film, Saturday Night Fever, but there's no film with that name. One More Saturday Night is a Grateful Dead song, which inspired Franklin and Davis to write their 1986 comedy. The same title. And Staying Alive is your answer. At Q7. Frank Stallone all over that film. The Stallone brothers went wild with that one. 38,883. One more Saturday night. And one more question for you. Q8. The mail order pets sea monkeys are actually what species of animal? Brine shrimp, dwarf crayfish, or plankton? You get this one right, and you got to answer 9, 10, 11, 12, and then you win this whole thing. How about that? The age of comic book ads sent a lot of mail order rubbish glasses, hypno coins, and the amazing live sea monkeys. They're not rubbish. I, I, I had sea monkeys. You know, they had a hash from a what they are. 33,045 ain't monkeying around here. By the way, I want to make, make peace to my friend Scott Goldblatt I grew up with. I knocked over his sea monkeys probably 24 years ago. I'm so sorry. They were all, it was not a 
that was not a good day in the Goldblatt household. Q9, compared to its atomic number, an isotope of an element is defined by having a different number of what? Protons, electrons, or neutrons. Oh, my chemical romance here at Q9. Take a standard neon atom, for example, okay? Neon. Neon, neon. With 10 protons, right? 10 neutrons and electrons. Remove a proton and you've created an isotope of fluorine. It's atomic number nine. Tweak the number of electrons and you get an ion. But to get an isotope, you gotta mess with the neutrons. Neutrons is the answer here. 2072. Getting this one right. The adventures of Jimmy Neutron continue for you to Q10. Three questions left. What is the only state Ronald Reagan did not win in the 1984 presidential election? Massachusetts, Vermont, Minnesota. Asking about Reagan, 84, staying alive, 83, sea monkeys. It's a Stranger Things quiz tonight. Kinda. If you're young, it may be hard to imagine New York or California going Republican, but trickle-down economics were all the rage back then. Democrat challenger Walter Fritz Mondale was lucky to escape the 84 election with his skin, let alone the District of Columbia and his home state of Minnesota. Min for the win, 7,271. Remember their elections from 30-odd years ago? Getting Q11, the penultimate question tonight in the Super Mario universe. Most of the Koopalings are named after what? Painters, talk show hosts, or musicians? Koopalings. Well, there's only... Koopalings, like you've memorized your presidents. Only one Koopaling named talk show host, Morton Koopa Jr., at least as far as scientists can tell. Six others are named for, well, Iggy Pop, Wendy O. Williams, Ludwig van Beethoven, Roy Orbison, Lemmy Killmaster, and Larry Mullen Jr., all musicians. Yes, musicians. 3,711. Avoiding the Koopa Troopas. Looking to jump the flagpole tonight? Here it is! Q12! It all piles down to this for the 3,711 players left. $5,000. Snake tight! Maybe you can buy a steak with your winnings. I don't know if they'll be that much. Maybe a dollar. You can get a really cheap steak. Q12! What possession did Steve Jobs sell to fund the first Apple product? Volkswagen. A Xerox stock or IBM computer? Is Volkswagen in stock or an IBM computer to make an Apple computer? Ooh, wouldn't that be something? You got to spend money to make money, folks. And to, to, and to fund the development and release of the Apple I in 1976, 20-year-old Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak had to make certain sacrifices while tinkering in their garage. Woz sold his Hewlett-Packard calculator and Jobs had to heartbreakingly part ways with his Volkswagen microbus for $750. That's what he made. 2,613 are splitting 5,000 tonight, baby! Winner, winner, chicken schnitzel dinner. So maybe it's not enough for a steak, or certainly not enough to buy Steve Jobs' old VW microbus, but $1.92 or $91. Some of you got a little less. Well, that's not too shabby for your Saturday night. I'm seeing a regular 823. That's a disgusting toenail. Empty vanilla. Are any toenails good looking? No. Don Yoto, QA Goddess, Cray Juicy, Adman 0468. Zeppelin 212, the hammer of the gods, coming in handy tonight. Guess what? Pause me, but well, sure, whatever that is, whatever your what butt is, you won too. So maybe you won. Like 25,000 is being split among 100 or fewer winners. That means guaranteed minimum payout is 250. Could be way more than that. You gotta tune in for the Disney 100 tomorrow.
Let's go. 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 Let's go.